Hello students, welcome to the channel Mechanics of Solids. In this section we will see some problems from composite structures. Here in this question there is a fixed support. From this fixed support two bars are hanging down. One bar is made up of steel and another bar is made up of copper. On the bottom of this there is a horizontal plate to this horizontal plate a load of 5000 newton is acting. We are asked to find out the stresses generated in the steel and copper also the load acting on the steel and copper. See this force is acting in the downward direction so there will be a reaction in the upward direction that we need to consider later. Also in this question we are asked to find out the distance at which the load 5000 Newton is acting such that this horizontal plate should not tilt. You know that if we put a load like this, it is sure that this plate will tilt like this. This type of tilting motion will be visible. So we need to avoid that tilting motion. So we need to apply a load of 5000 Newton from a distance x from copper or from a distance y from the steel rod. So our first aim is to find out stress in the steel and the stress in the copper. Also load in the steel, load in the steel and the load in the copper. This thing we need to find out. Also we need to find out the distance x. Okay, let us go to the question. The diameter of the steel is equal to diameter of the copper is equal to 2 cm given in the question. That is equal to 20 mm. The length of the steel rod and copper rod are same. Length of the steel is equal to length of the copper is equal to 4 meter. That is equal to 400 mm given in the question. So this is our question and these are the things we need to find out. For solving this, we know one thing from the inference we studied if the length of the steel and copper bar are same we can say that the strain on the steel and the copper bar will be same so I am writing strain on the steel is equal to strain on the copper ok now from the equation for Hooke's law we know Elasticity is equal to stress by strain or strain is equal to sigma by E. So I am writing this here. Sigma of the steel divided by elasticity of the steel is equal to sigma of the copper divided by elasticity of the copper. So this is the equation that I can make here. Now I am writing the stress of steel in terms of stress of copper. Sigma S is equal to E steel divided by E copper into what? Sigma copper. This is the modular ratio. Elasticity of the steel by elasticity of the copper. We can say it is the modular ratio. We can substitute the value and find that. This is elasticity of the steel. In this question, the elasticity is given as 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square for steel and elasticity of the copper is 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter millimeter square for copper. I am substituting this 2 into 10 raised to 5 by 1 into 10 raised to 5 into sigma copper. Sigma S is equal to 2 times sigma copper. This is the first relation I made. Now we know one thing this thousand this 5000 Newton will be acting on this steel as well as in the copper. So I can say that the reaction on the steel plus the reaction on the copper will be equal to 5000 Newton. So reaction or load I am writing load on the steel plus load on the copper is equal to 5000 Newton. Load is equal to stress in the area load is equal to stress in the area therefore I am writing stress of the steel into area of the steel plus stress in the copper into area 
of the copper is equal to 5000 for sigma x I, I can write 2 times sigma u 2 times sigma copper into area of the steel plus sigma copper into area of the copper is equal to 5000 now what is this area for steel and copper these are steel rod and copper rod which is having circular cross section so we can find out the area by using the equation area is equal to pi by 4 d square area is equal to pi by 4 d square area is equal to pi by 4 into 20 square that is equal to 100 pi mm square this area is the same for steel and copper since their diameters are same so I can substitute the value here 2 times sigma copper into area sorry uh, area of the steel instead of area of steel I can write 100 pi plus sigma copper into 100 pi is equal to 5000 on solving this you will get the value of sigma copper is equal to 5 point this is uh, approximately equal to 5.305 newton per mm square and the sigma steel you will be getting as 10.6 newton per mm square now for calculating the load on the steel we can say load on steel is equal to stress on the steel into area of the steel that is equal to 10.6 into 100 pi that is equal to this much newton similarly load on copper is equal to stress on the copper into area of the copper 5.305 into 100 pi that is equal to 1667 newton this much load is acting on steel and copper as reaction in the upward direction now it is asked to find out the distance x where the load of 5000 newton should be applied such that there will not be any tilting action for the plate for that we can take moment from copper rod or moment from the steel rod here in this question I am taking the moment from the copper side so I can write from the copper side first the load is acting in the downward direction that is 5000 newton so x into 5000 into x taking load from this point taking the moment from copper side 5000 into x should be equal to upward force is what the reaction on the steel is triple 3 3 newton is acting in the upward direction is equal to 3333 3, 3, 3, into this distance is given in the question as uh, 50 centimeter into 50 centimeter in centimeter I am taking therefore we will get the value of x is equal to 33.3 centimeter so if we kept this 5000 newton in 33.3 centimeter from the copper side we can say that the plate will not tip. so this is how we solve the problem for composite structure if the bars are made up of same length in the next video we will see what will happen to the stress and stress and the load acting on the bar if bars of different length are chosen okay thank you